What is up, math superstars? In this edition of Mr. Peterson Presents, what I'm doing is I'm bringing to you a special exclusive video. This is some help with the classwork on similar figures. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the different things uh, that you'll see in the classwork with similar figure, figures along with some IXL help here. And so what we're doing is we are setting up proportions to find the missing angle. So in similar figures, we can we know that these figures are proportional. So we are going to set up proportions here. So here we're given this information and I'm assuming that you've read it, but if not, here we go. So George is standing next to a light pole in the middle of the day. George's shadow is 1.5 feet and the light pole shadow is 4.5 feet. If George is six feet tall, how tall is the light pole? And so all we're doing is we're setting up proportions. And so the way I'll do this is I'll figure out I'll do tall over shadow is going to be equal to tall over shadow for this one. So I like that proportion. You can also set it. There's some different ways to set it up, but for the sake of this video, this is the way I'm going to do it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to start with, let's start with the flagpole here. So the flagpole, the height of the flagpole is H and the shadow is 4.5. We know that's proportional to our friend George here. His feet is six feet tall and his shadow is 1.5. So our next step, let's go ahead and cross multiply here. So we have 1.5 each is equal to 27. And we're just solving for H just like we did in proportions. We divide both, so we divide 27 by 1.5 gives us do 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 our flagpole is 18 and let's go ahead and add our label in there of feet so now we have question number two how tall is the flagpole and so here we're not given any information except for this diagram so let's go ahead and figure this out so just like our other diagram we have a small triangle right here and then it, what happens is we have a big triangle right here. I'm kind of shading that in for you. So we have some overlapping features here, but it's going to be the same proportion. So we can set it up tall over, say, shadow again. So it's pretty similar. Equals tall over shadow. I like that. And so let's start with the... Our flagpole is H and the shadow this time is 31.5. I'll use decimals to make it easy for myself. And then now let's do the height of our little guy here. He's six and a half feet tall. That's pretty tall. So I'll do 6.5 and the shadow he casts is nine feet. So now let's go ahead and cross multiply here. So I have nine H is equal to 31.5 times 6.5 giving us 204.75 now we need to get h by itself let's divide both sides by nine giving us a grand total of 22.75 feet so we can say that this flagpole in this illustration right here for h is 22 in three quarters feet tall so now we have our beach question so just like our flagpole we have two overlapping triangles here so we have a small triangle and we have a big triangle and so for this one how deep is the water 50 meters from shore and so we can go we can set this up the distance away from shore over depth would be equal to distance over depth here we're just setting up our proportion to help us out and so of course there's more than one way to set this proportion up but i like this way it makes it easy for me so let's start with the small triangle so we have eight feet so at a distance of eight feet the depth is so eight feet the depth is one foot 
that's equal to proportional to 50 feet from shore. And we don't know how deep it is, so let's label that as H. What we can do is let's go ahead and cross multiply here. So we have 8H is equal to 50. And when we go ahead and divide both sides by 8, giving us H being equal to do 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 it'd be 6.25 feet and so when we are 50 feet away from shore the the depth is six and a quarter feet so now we're given question number four and so the triangles in this figure are similar so this information right here is telling us that we can use a proportion to figure out the misting distance so we gotta figure out how far is the water ride from the roller coaster. So we have this distance right here. We're trying to figure out that distance right there. And in doing this, we could use, here we could go ahead and use our similar figures. So let's go ahead and set up a proportion. So in this one, we're given, the, we're given some information about our angles here. So we notice that there's two arcs and two arcs right there. So what we can say is we can say that D is what we're trying to figure out. That's proportional to the side from the distance from the park entrance to the information booth is 10 meters. So now let's go ahead and set up our denominators now. So this distance right here, so two arcs to one arc. So our distance here is 45 meters. And we're given this a piece of information here is 21 meters. So as you can see, we have our big triangle. So this is our information for our big triangle. Here's our information for our small triangle. And now we all we have to do left is cross multiply to figure out what our distance is. So we have 21D is equal to 450. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 21. Thank you for just repeating that. I know that you did in your head. 450 divided by the infamous number gives us this distance when we round to the nearest tenth. I'm just reading it right off my screen. 21.4 meters. So now we have question number five here. We're given some information. The triangles are similar. What that means is we could use and set up a proportion for this. So we need to figure out how far is the distance from the from the gymnasium to the band room. And so that distance right there is going to be D. We know that this side right here, side D, we know that's proportional to the distance from the cafeteria to the tennis court. So we're going to put that as 32. So right there, we're figuring out the proportional sides are going to be our numerators. So now let's figure out side number two here. So we have the distance from the band room to the water fountain. That's going to be 30. So you can see right now we are in the same triangle. Let's pick the, the other triangle now. Oops. So our distance from the water fountain to the tennis court is 25 meters. So all we're doing is we're setting up our proportion. So if I label this as triangle 1 and triangle 2, you notice here that this is triangle 1. And right here is triangle two. So we have left, all we gotta do is cross multiply. So we have 25D is, is equal to 32 times 30. Gives us 960. And we need to get D by itself so we can divide both sides by 25. Gives us D being equal to 38.4 meters. So this distance right here from the gymnasium to the band room comes out to 38.4 meters. So now this is uh, one that I pulled from IXL. And so for those of you that are stuck on your IXL, here's how you can solve some of these problems. So what we have here is we have two triangles. We have our small triangle. So here's our small triangle. 
And then just like in some of the other problems, we have two triangles here and they overlap. And so what we're going to do, what this is telling us is that these triangles are proportional and we can set up a proportion to solve for the missing side length here. So our missing side length right here is P. So we have P is our, is the, let's see, F the D. I like that. So I'll put P in our numerator and let's do the numerator for our big triangle. So P is similar to eight feet. So G to H. And now let's do the bottom here. And so for our small triangle from D to E right here, that's three feet. And that's proportional to this total distance right here of six feet. And so you can hear, once again, right now we have our small triangle, the information and our big triangle. And we have the different parts that are labeled appropriately. So we have the piece going up and down is our numerators and the piece that's going left to right is our denominators. So all we can do now is let's go ahead and cross multiply. So we have 6P is equal to 24. And then we can go ahead and divide both sides by 6. Giving us P would be equal to doo -doo -doo -doo, 4 feet. And so the biggest thing you can do is make sure you set up your proportion correctly. And you'll be the master of similar figures.